Happy Thursday, everybody. We're off to a late start, but we got some news for you. But first, where's all of my gym stars? What's up, everybody? Much better than that weak ass gym star yesterday. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Free <laughs> Easy, aka Fresh from the Salon, BKA, the People's Champ. At. So, starting off with the news, we got two sad stories, and then we're going to pick it up. But first, we want to say rest in peace to WWE Hall of Famer Soul Man Johnson. That's the way. Rocky Johnson. Soul Man Rocky Johnson. Get it Soul right. Soul Man Rocky Johnson. Johnson. That's um, if you don't know, that's uh, Dwayne Johnson, D Rock's father. And so we just want to send our condolences out to him, and may he at rest in peace. Yeah, that's, man. Hey, look, he, he could have been the swole man, man, he but maybe ain't Rock the spitting image of him. I mean, he looked just pops like him. And, he, and to be swole back then, it wasn't easy. You had to really be hitting them weights. You know what I'm talking about? So I bet he had know. the lettuce. Yeah, he probably did. He I had mean, he had the rock. The lettuce. Okay. All right. So moving on to um second um new star. Yo, this broke my heart. Like when I was watching it, like so bad. So here we got Drew Pearson. Is, um, you know, he's 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 sad. He's upset because they didn't snub him for not um entering him into the Hall of Fame over 30 years, and he has like a. You know, f for his era, he had a nice rap sheet, right? Yeah, yeah, Can you yeah, say yeah, rap very, sheet? <coughs> very good stats is what you would say. Stats. Stats. Rap sheet's like jail stuff? Yeah, that's like jail. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> X that He has very nice stats or whatever. So, let's go over his stats really fast, Jay. All right, so we're going to look at Drew Pearson's stats. <clears throat> Drew Pearson's stats. We're just going to look at his stats, man. Um, Against. And then we're talking about, we got to keep in mind that this is an era when they didn't really throw the ball. And they didn't really, uh, they didn't really do stuff. Probably when real football was being played. Oh my God! And you can't see it. They can't see it on the screen right now. Let me, let me, let me fix this real quick. Slide it over so y'all can see. Boom! All right. So this is Drew Pearson's stats, man. We're just gonna go by the raw stats. Three, three-time pro, pro Bowler. He won a Super Bowl. Played ten years, obviously, uh, for the Dallas Cowboys and the Dallas Texans. Y'all don't even know about it. Uh, well, he was a receivers coach, but, um. All 10 years for the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. Went to the Super Bowl. Three-time Pro Bowler. Three-time first-team All-Pro. Second, uh, One-time second-team All-Pro. 1970s All-Decade team. That right there should be enough. NFL uh, the receiver yards. Uh, Relay all, all receivers and yards in 1977 in the Dallas Boy Cowboys Ring of Honor. 489 receptions, 7,800 yards, and 48 touchdowns. That's a lot yes. for that era. Yes. Right? And now you got, and we're gonna we're gonna contrast with two Pittsburgh Steelers, two former Pittsburgh Steelers. So Pittsburgh. don't worry about that. Hey, look, they they also played. Lynn Swan didn't even play. Uh, this Lynn Swan stats right here didn't even play ten years. Played from seventy four to eighty two. So, um, and yeah, I mean, I mean, he had three Pro Bowl appearances. Uh, one one first time, you know, second team. Forget all of that though. He had four Super Bowls. Yeah, he had four Super Bowls. Yeah, but they had three hundred thirty six <laughs> yards. Um, receiving, I mean, or 336 receptions, 5,400 yards, and 51 touchdowns. That's Lynn Swan. He's a Hall of Famer. Also, John Stallworth played for nearly the same amount of time. Um, well, John Stallworth played longer than all of them. He had four Super Bowls, obviously, and three Pro Bowls. 537 receptions, 8,700 yards, 63 stars receiving. But Drew Pearson played before both of these guys. Like, his era, they, they, the errors ran concurrent. But as you can see, these are guys that are in the Hall of Fame, and back then they just did not, they just didn't run the football. I mean, they didn't pass the football like that, man. Do so you it's think like, it's based more off of Super Bowls? Back then, probably, but I mean, stats are stats, in my opinion. I think you deserve to be in there, especially just, based off of, you know, present company and who who is, you know, like company or what yeah. have you. But uh, you know, he gonna get in. Yeah. I think this brought more light to it in the area era of social media. We're gonna see a lot more. He gonna get in next year. He should be in, he should be in there. He gonna get in. He should be in, but you know what? There's nothing worse than you having to like you get in after the fact. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because you want people to look at you before you even have to say anything. You like, okay, they actually considered me, but you don't want to. If it was me, I would feel some type of way that I get into the Hall of Fame after but you got to look Emotions at it like this. Most of the people that's probably voting on the Hall of Fame, they weren't even born when he was. That's you know, true. A lot of the people that would have put him in in the beginning mm -hmm. or, you know, like, because Lynn Swan them just got in probably about 10, 15 years ago. So a lot of people that would have put him in, those people gone on to glory. 
and or they not writing anymore. And a lot of people that are looking, they just looking at the stats. Like, I mean, he only had fifty, he only had seventy four hundred yards. Mm -hmm. Like, but that's good back then. Mm -hmm. So you know, you got to look at it like that. But uh, okay, so um, <clears throat> now to to kind of you know ha ha it up some. So guys, what did y'all think about LeBron James miss dunk? Some people say, hey, yeah, that's for the time, or it's just a simple miscalculation. Check it out. Boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all you hear is LeBron drink Sprite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So what y'all think? Just a simple miscalculation? Just a, uh, you know, anybody could miss a dunk like that, or do you think Father Time is catching up? I mean, it's a little bit of both. Uh, anybody can miss a dunk, but Father Time is catching up. But that wasn't because of Father Dime Time. That was just a miscalculation. Okay. So, <laughs> moving on to this next time, it's going to take me about three minutes because we've got so much Odell Beckham uh, news. So, first of all, one thing you should know about Brit Easy, I have a very low tolerance for like ignorance and when i mean low i'm talking about like in the negative numbers so let's start off by um not even this one jay go go back to him giving the money to the lsu players here we go right so let's check it out yeah man hey he giving out them hundred dollar handshakes boy that's what i'm talking about boy you're a professional now you can get this money you ain't coming bite you ain't coming bite like, look, they, they, they're talking about Joe Burrows and snitching. He ain't have to snitch. Why he had to snitch? That's another couple. That's a that's a thousand dollar hand. He getting like them thousand dollar handshakes. I forgot who that dude right there is. He used to play uh, safety for the okay. Falcons. But, uh, but yeah. anyway, so here's what I have a problem with. Like, you didn't have to do that on camera. Because yeah. we all know being in college, you know, times are rough or whatever. I don't know how it is for athletes or anything. But I know that I was a broke college I'm broke student. African. I'm broke. And let me tell you how broke I was. Ask me, how broke were you? How broke were you? You I were was so broke that I used to have to buy her ramen noodles. Then come on, you messed my thing oh, up. My bad. Let's start, start back over. Right. Let me tell you, I was a broke college student. How broke were you? I was so broke that I ate so much ramen noodles that I didn't sweat. I just had salt coming out my skin. That was actually true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was true. I yeah, remember that. Because I was like, God, lady, what all this? Like, I thought it was dandruff, but it wasn't dandruff. It, yeah, it was like was salt. Because yeah. I ate so much ramen noodles. And then drinking no water behind it. Yeah, because I still, I, I got yeah, better. Yeah, I remember when we were dating in college, I used to come through and be like, shoot, sure, hey, I just got, because I was out of college before you was, so I'd be like, I just got my paycheck. What's happening? you like, I just want to go get some food, my dog. <laughs> Take me to Wal. Where you want to go out on a date, Bridget? To Walmart. Walmart. We're going to Wally, 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 Wally World. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I felt like um, it could have been done off camera. Right. Because I'm like, you know. You're making this about you. You're making, well. And they just won national title. Yeah, and then you put, I, I feel like you probably putting these guys uh, future in jeopardy by you are, doing that. You are, yeah. And so to me, that's very selfish. Yeah. A, a very selfish act. But those guys are going on to the NFL. They ain't coming back to college. So for those guys, but, but you, don't want no affect, you don't want no sanctions to come down. Right, 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 right. Okay, so breaking news. Um, the New Orleans Police Department has obtained an arrest warrant for Adele Beckham Jr. for simple battery. This isn't for handing out money, but for appearing to touch the backside of a police officer. And we got the video right here, boy. We always got the video. But look at Odell in the background. Look at he, he said he he bought the rest. He said, man, I hope that ain't no look on that. Look at Odell taking a peek. He's sizing it up. He rams back and let it rip. And then he gonna look at him like, yeah, I did it, my boy. Sue, what you want? You want you, you want to do my way? And then he started dancing. He started dancing with it, man. Is it bad, chat? It's pure ignorance. Is it bad that the first thing I thought when he when they said Odell. Beckham slapped the cop's ass out like I guarantee it wasn't a female cop. That's what he said. That's exactly what I said. That's what he said. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, he even looked at it. I was like, no, no. Now, for all you little kids that's watching this video, I'm going to need you to like plug in your ears because here's a TMI moment that's about to come up. Let it go. So, the way that Odell Beckham looked at that cop's butt was... Uh, like if you have a spouse, girlfriend or a boyfriend, you know how y'all be playing around the house. Jay, he comes out. We have this game who who can smack each other butts like the hardest or yeah, whatever. Or make it sound off the loudest. I ain't trying to say, hit yeah, you yeah, hard, yeah, 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 sound off like that. That. No, 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 no. Yeah, y'all know, know how you Man, sound. Echo just, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And especially when it's wet. That's the worst part. But anyway, so he sat him up like, okay, yeah, yeah. That's that movement I need right there to get that nice piao on it. And I think I spit when I did that. You probably did, but don't Sorry. worry about it. Keep rolling. But anyway, so... Um, still wrong because you don't put your hands on nobody. And even though it's not a police officer, a security officer, that's still wrong. It's almost like you think back to the episode of Martin and how they used to be messing with Otis. Mm -hmm. That's that's how you got the old security officer trying to, you know, do whatever, you know, just keep, keep order in the uh, room. And here go Odell Jr. being a complete idiot. So, like... You make too much money to be stupid, man. But I guess stupid don't have no 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 salary cap or no age or anything like that. It's just it's ridiculous. And I, th I think what a lot of people are saying though, you, you made the moment about yourself. Yeah. And that was their moment. You shouldn't have done it. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, I got a lot to be about. Yeah. And myself. then like it's a whole bunch of other stuff that was going on in the locker room. But you know, bump all that because they had just. They just won, but we're talking about things that we can actually see on There's 75 the video. other asses that could be slapped. Yeah, <clears throat> you ain't got to slap the police. No, nobody ass should be slapped. Yeah. Period. But um. Unless you're saying good job. Yeah, yeah, and see, that's why I thought it was until I saw the video. Right, I was like, right. Oh, it was a security officer, and no, then that was you kind of. No, they say it's a security officer. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you know. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, like, come wow. on, Odell, you're doing way too much. Yeah, you're doing way too much. They're like, you're doing way too much. Get out the seat. Oh, yeah, because we know you need. Um, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think now in the comments. Oh, yeah, let me know what you think about, um, yeah, uh, what he said. And also, let me know if you think Drew Pearson should go into the um, Hall of Fame. Drop it down below. Don't forget to hit the like button. Peace. And we need a real Rocky Johnson. Excuse me. Get out my seat. Get out my seat. They can't even see you. First off, oh, man, look here. Check it out, man. Better sword than sorry in the store right now. Y'all check that out, man. Hey, yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video with the second half of the video. Look, this is what I need to know from y'all today, man. Uh, we got we got some more sports news and all of that coming up. But, um, and, and, you know, obviously we got the scores. And then we're going to get with the 2K news, man. We had a full slate of games last night. But this is what I need to know for y'all during the mid thing. Who would you rather take a punch from, Mike Tyson or Deontay Wilder? If you had to. You can say neither one, but I need to know. Do you want to take a punch from the Dynamite Kid, Black Trunks, Black uh, Boots, No Socks, 0073735963 Dynamite uppercut throwing for the first 90 seconds, Michael Tyson. Or do you want to go against a man that looks, I mean, you know, that puts you to sleep like this? This dude look like he got in the ring, slid in. He slid in the ring and decided, nope, I don't want none of that. And then I'm just going to take a nap on the rope. That's what I'm talking about. A man in Deontay Wilder that can knock you out with the right hand at any time. And at any time when he get mad at a piece of sweat on your head, he can knock every bead of sweat off your head simultaneously with one punch and put you to sleep. Every bead of sweat on this man's head was exposed and expunged. Y'all, look at that. But look, though, who, who would you rather take a punch from? If you had to absolutely take a punch, who are you going to take one from? I'm going to say neither one, but if I had to, I'm going to get back to y'all on that, man. Last sports story for the day before we go over the scores, man. The Hawks have traded Allen Crabb to Minnesota for Jeff Teague and, Travon, and Travion Graham, man. Look, Jeff Teague coming back to the Hawks, returning home, is an awesome move for us, I believe. He can come in. I never wanted Jeff Teague to leave. I just wanted him to be more assertive. Um, but he can come in right away, spell Trey Young, and keep the offense going. Jeff Teague is a lead dog, but he just ain't the dog that gonna go get it. That's the only thing we ever wanted from Jeff Teague in Atlanta, just to be more aggressive and go get it. But I think this is gonna be a good role for him. He's 31-1 now. He can probably play at this rate for about four more years. Probably be here till he's 35. He can he can be there. He can be a good uh, mentor to Jeff uh, to to Trey Young, and they can get buckets together. They can even play at the same time because you know both of them. You know they they, they can play at the same time because Jeff T can play off the ball. So that'll be that'll be dope as heck right there for us right now. Uh, up first though for the 2K news, man, the 2K league in this toxicity, bro. This is crazy. This right here is showing Chico Filo, the most likable guy in the um in 2K right now, man. On a 49 game win streak. 49 game. He's getting ready to go on the 50 game win streak. 
I think he said Tosino was up next, so they had double center up next. They get to the end of it, and instead of instead of getting to play the game, what happens? Somebody comes and VIPs them. 2K, this is something that we've been talking to y'all about since 2K18. You should not have the ability to VIP the winning side. Why is this a thing in the game? They both got VIP. Like, bro, why is this a thing? Why are you, okay, why does VIP exist in the first place except for on the come up court? I can see if you want to break in line and play on the come up court, that's one thing. I think it shouldn't exist at all, but especially not on the winning side. This is just bonehead programming right here. It's unforgivable. There's no way that you should be able to VIP the winning side. Especially, I can see if they're just waiting and the game hadn't been played. But why would you allow people to VIP the winning side? These guys on the 50-game win streak. It ain't even about the win streak, though, bro. It's about that. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the scores. But like I said, I was just so mad about that, man. You know it is what it is. Let's get to these scores right quick, though, man. Hey, the Pistons over the Celtics, 116-103. to 103. I can't even say his name. Not even going to try. Dombaya, 24 points, two, two rebounds, one assist. Gordon Hayward, 25 points, seven rebounds, and one assist in the losing effort. The New Jersey Nets lose to the Philadelphia 76ers. Spencer then winning the enlightened one. Uh, 26 points, two rebounds, eight assists. Tobias Harris, 34 points, 10 rebounds, three assists. DeMar DeRozan and the um, and the Spurs fall to the heat, 106 to 100. DeMar DeRozan, 30 points, five rebounds, seven assists. Kendrick Nunn, 33 points, uh, three rebounds and four assists. Not bad for somebody that wasn't even drafted or wasn't projected to be drafted. And they said he wasn't going to be nothing. He proved them wrong, baby. Hey, do your thing, shouty. Do your thing. Raptors, 130 uh, to 121 over over the uh, Thunder. Uh, ain't, ain't that who that is? Noel Powell, uh, two, 20, 23 points, two rebounds, no assists. Dennis Schroeder, 25 points, three rebounds, and six assists for him. Atlanta Hawk. Uh, 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 Pacers over the Timberwolves. Uh, 104 to 99. Donata Sabonis, 29 points, 13 rebounds, 6 assists. Uh, Colville, 17 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist. The Wizards lose to the Bulls, 115 to 106. Rack Levine, 30 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists. Bradley Beal, 23 points, 4, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists in the uh, in the loss. Uh, the Rich Creamy Nougats over the Hornets. Uh, Terry Rozier, 20 points, 3 rebounds, 9 assists. Michael Porter Jr. is really coming into his own right now. 19 points, 8 rebounds, 1 assist. That young man coming into his own. Melo helps carry the Rockets. I mean, kept, helps carry the, the, the uh, Trailblazers over the Rockets. 117 to 107. Uh, Damian Lillard, 25 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists. Russell Westbrook, 31 points, 11 rebounds, and uh, 12 assists, a triple double in a losing effort. James Harden had a career low uh, for the last three years, 13 points, man. Uh, Luka Dunnage and the uh, Mavericks adds out the Kings. Luka Dunnage, uh, 25 points, 15 rebounds, 17 assists, career high, 17 assists, obviously. De'Aaron Fox, 27 points, 7 rebounds, and uh, 2 assists. That young man hooping, but he just ain't got it. And last but not least, the Magic edges out LeBron and the Lakers. Uh, Markel Fultz finally coming into his own. 21 points, 11 rebounds, and, and 10 assists with a triple-double. And uh, Quinn Cook, 23, I mean, 22 points, 4 rebounds, and um, 1 assist in the uh, in the losing effort, man. Hey, you got you to gotta look... The NBA's outlook is really great for the next couple of years. A lot of young superstars, a lot of people playing outside their minds, and we just got all of this stuff, man. But speaking of young superstars, we got to pay homage to the old superstars, man. Hey, my boy NBA 2K Toots, man, he has put out a video. Y'all should go check this out. This is the, the, the end of the game. Michael Jordan complete with Michael Jordan. Look at, did he push off? Yes, he answers the age-old question. Did Mike push off? And we look at it right here. Did he push off? He dribbles to the right. There's the hand. Hold up, hold up. you damn right he pushed off. And then he pulls up. But anyway, he did the whole reenactment, man. You guys should go check that video out. Dope video, a dope recreation and all that good stuff, man. Mike, Mike um, doing his thing. That, 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 that moment never got old to me, man. I could watch that over and over as Mike hit the last shot of his career after pushing the living hell out of Byron Russell and, uh, and uh, pulling up, pulling up for the uh, deuce at the head of the key, which uh, you know, in his career the same way he, a lot of people act, uh, say he started it when he hit the big shot for North Carolina in the uh, championship game 
in uh, 83. I think it was at the end of the 83 season. No, it was 84 season. Then he got drafted in 84. But, hey, it is what it is. And last but not least, man, we've got NBA 2K Labs doing a breakdown of uh, Green Machine. And pretty much what they're telling you is, man, you can go check it out. But they, they're pretty much telling you, if you don't take a lot of shots, it's not worth it. This is what I've said. They're they pretty much saying what I say. People ask why I don't have Green Machine on, on my center. I don't take enough shots with my center to warrant me having Green Machine. I just don't. A second guard or the lead guard should have a green machine. Somebody's gonna be shooting the kicks in after you use, after you shoot your second green, it kicks in. They say it's a significant boost for those guys that shoot a lot to the early and this and the uh, late green windows, but the middle green window, you know, you see it right here, early green window, you see, you see a make. But what they were saying is if you got like a 93 point rating, after you hit your second green, it's damn near automatic. So all these people out here that's missing, bro, with over 90, and I'm shooting over 60%. With my uh, with my dog on, you know, with my uh, regular uh, with, with my 70 shot jump shot, bro. Hey, y'all boy need some help. But anyway, like they said, that's something that you want to put on if you have like 20 or more badges. Don't put it on if you got 17. If you got badges to spare or you just want to take down another badge or something like that, put that on. But anyway, man, I gotta get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. I got some raising with randoms coming up for y'all tonight. But y'all, let me know. Who would you rather take a punch from if you had to? You can say neither, but I just want to know. Michael Tyson or the bronze bomber, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder? Damn it, I say Mike Tyson. Or the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder? Let me know down in the comments, man. Neither one, but you know, let me know. Hey, this shirt, if y'all think this shirt dope, y'all messing with it, man. Better sword than sorry. Hey, it is. It's a way of life, man. We got the tanks and everything. Go check it out on the site and holler at me next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Godspeed! And as always, rest in peace to soul man, Rocky Johnson. Your son is a spitting image of you, my guy. Godspeed.